Historic Athabascan skin clothing, moccasins, and bags in museum collections were finely ornamented with stitched, wrapped, and woven porcupine quills. Quill borders and panels were added to chief's jackets and clothing of social and ceremonial importance. In October 2013, the Smithsonian Institution's Arctic Studies Center brought together three artists who work with porcupine quills and who are mostly self-taught. These artists, two Athabascan and one from Montana, worked together for a week, exchanging ideas and techniques and studying masterworks from museum collections to rediscover historical techniques nearly lost. They also shared their knowledge with museum staff who care for collections and demonstrated their work to students and museum visitors. With new insights and inspiration, these artists continue their dedication to passing on the quill work tradition. I'm showing an edging, a type of edging stitch, and this is a corded edging stitch, so this would be the leather object that you're um, putting an edge on, and then it's got a cord that's made also of leather, and I've taken the stretch out of it by getting it wetting, letting it dry here, and then the quills actually go around the cord and then get sewn into the piece itself, forming an edge, and there I've already started it. That would be the front side, and that would be the back side of the work. And so the stitches run along here, and again, I'm using your back stitch, mm -hmm. so you'll probably figure out a different way to do it, so. No, my back stitch works. Okay. So I'm going to start like this. Okay, there's my first one, and this gets tucked behind. And then this technique, this is like a, a folded technique, so I'm going to fold, fold it behind. Now see that little nub in there? Mm -hmm. That's going to stay there and that becomes part of the design. So what you get is this little, it's too fine here to see it, but you get a little mm -hmm. piece and it, if it's, you see this in a lot of Eastern Woodland stuff, except this little dot will be bigger. It's just, I haven't done it in so long. So fine, huh? So you fold it over and then, this is actually so simple you'll laugh. <coughs> back stitching? Back stitching, yeah. back stitching again. Now, when I fold it down this time, I make sure it lays exactly where I want it. I pull it tight. Here it is. You fold it behind, between the cord and the letter. See? And you just keep going like that. Between. between.